Hello, my friends. I welcome you to Coffee with Reverend Clifton Matura. I invite you to sit with me as we spend some time in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, studying His Word and sharing in a cup of coffee. I invite the praise and worship team from the Lower Barako Presbyterian Church to lead us in worship. Gospel of Matthew chapter 20, verses 29 to 34. Let us listen to the word of the Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. Two blind men were sitting by the roadside, and when they heard that Jesus was going by, they shouted, Lord, son of David, have mercy on us. The crowd rebuked them and told them to be quiet. But they shouted all the louder, 
Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus stopped her and called them. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. Lord, they answered, we want our sight. Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes. Immediately, they received their sight and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God for this, his most holy word. Amen. A large crowd was following Jesus as he was leaving Jericho. Two blind men who were sitting by the roadside, when they heard that Jesus was passing, shouted out to him for mercy. Jesus, hearing them, stopped and called them. Hearing from them that they wanted to be healed, he touched their eyes and they received their sight. When they could see, they followed him. Here, my friends, we are able to see another behavioral pattern of people who are grateful for what the Lord has done for them. These two men, having been healed by the Lord Jesus Christ, began to follow Jesus. They became his disciples. They embraced his teachings. They believed in him. Their hearts were grateful, and so they followed Jesus. My dear friends, grateful people follow Jesus. When we are grateful for what the Lord has done for us, we will follow Jesus. Our following the Lord Jesus Christ will find expression in how we live our lives. Our following the Lord Jesus Christ will cause us to have a deep desire for the things of Almighty God. We will have a deep desire to study the word of the Lord and pattern our lives after his teachings. We will have a deep desire to be involved in the church and to be part of what the Lord Jesus Christ is doing in the local church. We will have a deep desire to walk in holiness and keep our eyes fixed on the Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, when we are grateful for what the Lord has done for us, nothing and no one will be able to discourage us from following Jesus. My friend, are you grateful for what the Lord has done for you? Grateful people follow Jesus. Let us come to Almighty God in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, how grateful we are for all you have done for us as a people. Words cannot express the gratitude we feel towards you. Today, Lord, we renew our love for you and our commitment to follow you all the days of our lives. We pray for those who are finding it difficult to make ends meet, those who are sick, and those who are mourning the loss of loved ones. May you, O oh God, provide, heal, and comfort your people. We pray, Lord, about our present situation as we face the pandemic COVID-19. May you help our people to be obedient to the protocols as we wait upon the availability of the vaccine. Grant to our world the grace we need as we cope with the present season in which we live. Bless us, Father, and keep us all safe. For we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Saviour. Amen. My friends, I thank you for joining me for Coffee with Reverend Clifton Matura. 
I encourage you to keep the faith. Please remember, my friends, to follow the protocol given by the Ministry of Health. Wear your mask when you are leaving home and sanitize your hands, your work area, and your living area. God bless you. Cheers, my friend. Thank you.